All right, hello and welcome. April Ray here, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. So really quick, I wanted to shoot this quick video um, about Facebook ads. I recently did a video views ad in Facebook and I think that's fairly new. Um, I heard about it through one of the leaders in our MLSP community, uh, Mark Harbor, and he said that these ads are like the cheapest ads. They're like the best thing on the planet. And so I said, okay, well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do one. So basically what I did was I used a regular video that I put and I embedded as, an, uh, as a Facebook status. Um, I did two things. I boosted it. So I wanted to see the difference. I boosted it just from the page. And from there, I got about a thousand views. Um, I think I got 168 clicks or something like that, or some of that. And I got 68, no, I got 68 clicks from that. And I got, got a couple of opt ins. So that was pretty good. And it was only, I believe it was only one cent a click. And I'm going to show you the stats when, uh, as soon as I kind of give you an overview. So then I took that same, the same video that you see right here, and I made an ad out of it. And I chose the video views ad. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if you're going to do an ad, you just go over to the top of your Facebook page where you see this little um, upside down triangle. Click on it. And uh, normally I go to manage ads, but if you've never done an ad, you can just go to create ads. And sometimes you can just go to create ads anyway, especially if you want a different. Uh, sometimes it doesn't give you an option if you just go to manage ads. So you want to go to create abs, ads. And this is actually taking me to the to the page I was already on previously. So when you normally do it, you're gonna to go to the campaign objective page, which is gonna give you a list of all the different types of ads that you can run. Now normally I've done a likes ad to build my community. You know, they're targeted. The, I really love Facebook, let me just tell you. I love doing Facebook ads. It's not a whole lot of money. It's not like I'm spending thousands of dollars. I have a budget per month set aside to um, get more eyes on, on what I'm doing, get more eyes on my brand. And unfortunately the way, you know, Facebook is uh, has their software or algorithm, algorithm set up, um, P your, people are only seeing like two to three percent of your posts. So you are on your Facebook business page and you are doing all these posts and you notice that you're getting maybe one or sometimes no clicks. Nobody is seeing your stuff. And Facebook does that on purpose. I get it. It's pay to play, you know, in this arena. And I'm, I'm good with that because that's something that's easy to me. That's easy to do. You know, I can go out and I can actually create a targeted audience who want what I have to offer and I can get them into my community and create a community out of it. And so that's what I really love to do. And I learned all of this. If you want to know how I learned how to do Facebook ads and all kinds of different marketing strategies, I learned it through a company called MLSP. It's a marketing uh, lead generation system. It's a training platform. It's a branding platform, a blogging platform. It has everything all under one roof. And I've been with them since 2010. And I learned almost everything I know because of this awesome community in this awesome program. So anyways, so when you go into this page, you're going to choose um, get video views. And mine is already there. So that it'll take you here and you're just going to, you can name your campaign from here and then hit continue. And then what it's going to do is it's going to send you, just like all the other ads, it's going to have you set up your ad. Who do you want to target? You know, do you want just men, just women? Do you want both? Where the age ranges? Um, where does your target market um, hang out? So you should already know all this. You should have already done all of your um, target marketing and your your um, ideal client work and, and to find out who is best suited for your for what you have to offer for your brand and, and for your business. So um, what I did was I kept um, just one, one location, which was the United States. Um, I kept my age range was um, between, for my, for my um, audience, it's between 26 and 55. And I chose all men and women. And then I chose the English uh, language for the US. If you push English, it'll give you options. And I push for the US. And then where it gets interesting, and let me just X out of here because I was kind of going over. My computer was slow, so I had to open it up before I came on. All right, so here's where I think, I don't know, 
I'm just guessing, but here's where I think things got interesting for me because I did things a little different. Um, Mark did a training and um, this area when it came to detailed targeting, he did it a little different. So that's what I decided to do. Now, normally I would go in here to pick, you know, a demographic or uh, basically people who match a, a certain criteria that I'm looking for. So um, when I click on it, you kind of can already see some of the things that I've already kind of looked up before, like Robert Kiyosaki, you know, he's, he's all about network marketing. He's pro network marketing. He's pro business, pro um, entrepreneur. Um, Todd Falcone is the network marketing master. You know, I've even, you know, I've been an affiliate sales person for him for a long time. Um, network marketing pro, um, digital marketing. Now the trick is you only want to pick one. You don't want to pick all. You, some people will think, oh, the more the merrier. But in this case, you just want to pick one. So say we just pick Robert Kiyosaki here. And what you'll notice is you'll see um, exclude people or narrow your audience. And so what I did was I clicked narrow your audience. And what it does is it gives you a separate option. It says and must also match at least one of the following. So um, maybe I picked Robert Kiyosaki here and I picked digital marketing here because I want people who are in the online marketing space, okay? And it tells me when I click there, it obviously tells me how many people I would be targeting. And it tells me within that umbrella, I'd be targeting people who are interested in business and industry, online and digital marketing, okay? And so um, I took it one step further. I think I just did one more narrow further. And I chose, let's say, Todd Falcone. Now, I can't remember if this was the mix that I chose, um, but I'm pretty sure there's some variation here. I'm pretty sure I chose Todd, Todd Falcone for sure because I do get a lot of um, results when I do like ads for him or for myself when I targeted him. And so these, of course, people that... Um, you know, who are interested in Todd Falcone, who know Todd Falcone, which means they know network marketing. And you really want, I prefer people who are affiliated some way in the home business network marketing industry. They know it, um, they've been in it, they're pro network marketing. And you know, some people are looking, you know, and some people are looking for help. So that's how I like to, um, to separate, you know, my target audience that way. And so I just kept it at three. Now you can actually go as far as you want to narrow down your search, um, but I just kept it at three, okay? And then, uh, let's see, I just kept everything here. You can save your audience if you want to. Um, sometimes you can do that for, if you wanna do some sort of comparison on what audience does better than others, so you can kind of compare with that. Um, I kept my placement at automatic. Um, some people say choose your own placement, but I, I just kept it at automatic in this instance. And I kept my daily budget at $20 a day and I ran it for uh, five days. So I just $20 a day, ran it for five days. And it says, I kept all of this. I didn't touch any of this here. Okay. And so, uh, and then you hit continue. And what it will do is it'll show you, you know, if you don't already have a video in there, which usually the best thing to do is just upload a video first, but you can also upload it from here too. It's just your preference. And then you kind of type it, it'll give you an option to type in your header. If you want to add um, a, a, a call to action to it somewhere for them to go, if you have a free offer and you want them to click on it, you can add that in this area here. Um, it'll also tell you, you know, which, which, um, which business page are you representing? I have a few that I represent. Um, and then my computer's really slow, so right now it would be showing, um, well actually no, because I don't have a video chosen or an image chosen, but it'll show you what your your ad will look like on the desktop feed, mobile feed, also Instagram, your audience network, and your desktop right column. And then you just hit place order from there. So um, what I got was, this was the one, this was my actual video that my got video views from. I didn't boost it, I did an actual video views campaign. And let's see if it comes up, yes. And my results were, were really amazing. I mean, I was really excited because I got, hold on, I got 4,719 video views. I had a reach of 7,310. Now what it doesn't show, and I'm gonna pull it up, I think I can pull it up here. Hold on here. This is the video. Let me go to my home page. 
probably have to cut this out because it is slow. Okay, so I couldn't remember for the life of me my stats, so I had to pull it up. So basically I got, like I said, I had a reach of 7,300, I had 4,700 views, and it was only two cents per video view. I also, I got, um, let's see here, I got blah, 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 117. This is what I didn't expect. I got 117 page likes and I got 34 opt-ins. So I got 34 people. Not only, not only did I get a 4,000 video views, so 4,000 people seeing the introvert mogul brand, seeing what I have to offer, but they also, 40, 34 of those people actually clicked on and opted into my free offer. I had a free offer on there. All right, and the and I also didn't expect to get page likes because this wasn't a likes ad, you know. I got 117 likes. Now let me tell you, I've done like I said, I've done likes ads before, and I think I spent. I think one time I think I got maybe six. I had a this. I'm gonna tell you my a really bad likes ad. I think I got maybe six, sixty. I'm sorry, not six, but 65, 70 likes. And I think it was almost a dollar a click. That was like my worst ad. It was like I got 60 likes and it was like a dollar a click. And I think my best was maybe 36 cents or 32 cents. And I got, you know, quite a few likes, maybe 100, 120 likes. But this was 117 likes for only two cents. That's friggin' amazing. So that's it. If you haven't done a video views ad, you gotta do a video views ad. I don't know, I might just do that from now on and see, I'm gonna try another one and see if I get similar results. And I actually did a long video. My video was like five, five, six minutes long. And normally, um, Mark, uh, Mark Harbert would only suggest maybe two to three minutes. So I did five minutes long and I got all of that. Plus I got a bunch of shares. I had a bunch of people sharing my video and that never happened before when I did an ad of any kind. I've never had, you know, I have people sharing on my personal page, but that never happened. Strangers just sharing my, um, sharing my video and also commenting on my video. I had quite a few comments as well. So if you haven't invested in, you know, Facebook ads, they don't cost a lot of money. You can set aside a budget. Like I said, I even boosted the same ad. Um, that was one cent per view. And I got about a thousand, um, a thousand video views and a couple of, um, I think I even got a couple of likes from that, uh, for my, for my page. And I got a, co a couple of comments from that. So it's really beneficial that you um, you invest in doing Facebook ads. Now, if you want to learn how to do it, like I said, I learned from the best, the top um, trainers, the top earners, seven-figure earners who are specialized in stuff like this in our um, MLSP program, My Lead System Pro. Um, I will never leave this industry. I will never leave My Lead System Pro because um, I've learned so much and I've got gained so much from, from being in this community. So um, if you want to know more about MLSP, go ahead and click the link below. Um, leave a comment if you're on my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. All right. Thanks again for joining me and bye-bye for now.